These bonds aren't easily broken. Victory is assured, so long as you follow my lead. Let's make them bleed. What a waste. As expected. I was better. So Apex Legends Mobile just dropped an absolute bombshell and released the Season 3 patch notes, which include things like a free heirloom. What's going on, guys? My name's Roast. Welcome back to another video. Before we get into the patch notes, there's a brand new preview update that just went out on the iOS and the Google Play Store, so go download it right now. It's already changed the background lobby screen, as you can see right here. There's a cool Coliseum background effect. I tried loading into a game to see if the Coliseum's there, but it's not actually there yet, so it looks like that's not coming in until the 19th but one thing i did notice is the rampage lmg is in the game this is what it looks like against enemies it absolutely shreds enemies armor and this is what it looks like with a thermite charged up inside of it as well as you can see this fade stood no chance whatsoever the rampage is a sick gun so it's pretty cool that they've given us this little preview they usually do this before a brand new season that's pretty much all that's in the game for the next five days so let's get into the patch notes let me get straight into the juicy stuff boys stay tuned for this video because i'm going to be announcing the three times mobile gift card winners later in the video so make sure you hit a like now number one season three champions is launching on october 19th and it starts with the new legend ash i've already covered ash in a previous video but for you guys that haven't seen her let me show you what she does now ash is the craziest aggressive legend in the game her three abilities are marked for death which is her passive arc snare which is her tactical and phase breach which is her ultimate her passive is insane Insane. Whenever an enemy dies anywhere on the map, Ash will receive a ping on her map notifying her of its exact location. The icon fades away over time, but it gives you enough of an idea to where fights are actually happening throughout the entire match. Also, her passive can scan death boxes, which will mark on her map the precise location of how that player died and where them and their teammates are now. Her tactical ability is an arc snare, which basically throws out an electric spinning sword that traps an enemy for a few seconds if it hits them and also damages them slightly and then her ultimate ability is the most aggressive thing in the game she basically swipes her sword and creates a teleport which basically boosts you directly to the other side however it's only a one-way portal so you can't go back but it's good for getting into fights and super quick for getting out of fights as well ash also comes with a bunch of cool perks that look absolutely overpowered so i'll let you check those out yourself next the first ever signature weapon aka the heirloom is coming to apex legends mobile for the legend fade it says that his weapon has six levels with two deadly forms the claw and the sword it's free to unlock by playing select missions and earning merits and it can be customized with visual effects textures and more it says get ready to slice for the competition in style so this is strange we all thought it would be you know fade's regular heirloom coming but it looks like it might actually be the first ever melee weapon in apex legends as we all know on pc and console so heirlooms don't give you any extra damage they are just you know pretty to look at while you're running with no weapon out so could this actually be the first ever melee weapon where you can go around like a ninja slicing enemies let me know in the comments what you think but i think it sounds pretty cool next they're dropping a brand new game mode called the second shot blitz which is basically similar to the warzone resurgence where you get a chance to respawn automatically one extra time after dying this looks amazing as the game will be super fast paced which a lot of people would love in apex legends mobile so that's a win now as it's halloween at the end of this month they have also added some cool halloween effects on objects like the respawn beacons the airdrops and the loot bins next up is a new map the coliseum which we saw in the recent trailer this will be in both normal and ranked modes and it looks like you can basically press a button to duel someone in the coliseum but once you actually press it it alerts the whole map that you two are fighting there and it says the more kills you get in the arena the better loot you get so long story short you can get an entire lobby fighting in that one spot it looks absolutely incredible so let me know if you can't wait to try that out boys now next as always there's a brand new battle pass with this gibraltar skin unlocked at level one premium it's the same price as the usual battle pass but it should include some more gladiator skins as well there's also some new ranked updates
updates which I've covered in my last video so go check out my last one if you want to find out more about ranked. The dev team have also finally done some weapon balances meaning that they have nerfed some and buffed some but one thing people notice is the new Rampage LMG has been added to the game so get ready to bean kids with this gun. It's going to be one of the most OP gun in the games and if it's as broken as it what it was when it came to Apex Legends it's going to be insane on mobile so get ready for that. There's also been some crazy legend buffs and nerfs where it looks like Caustic will be super overpowered and Fade's abilities have been nerfed with a lot of cooldowns. And then lastly, the big one, bug fixes and optimization. Jump spam has been nerfed, which I mentioned before. They've reduced the overall mobility for jump firing and reduced continuous jump height, which will cause players to be unable to slide after consecutively jumping. So basically you can't immediately jump and then slide anymore and you can only jump twice without getting fatigued. A lot of people want this. It's going to feel like actual Apex Legends, so I can't wait to try it out. They have also fixed a ton of other bugs. Looks like the Loba glitch they have fixed in more places and some legend invisibility stuff on some of their abilities. But if you want to read them yourself, go check it out in the description, guys. Now, boys and girls, we did not expect the developers to do so much stuff in one update. Yes, we expected a lot of big things, but... In my opinion, they have gone above and beyond. Now, Season 3 drops, and it feels a lot better for low to mid-end devices, and they have improved the optimization as well. We haven't received any notes of them improving it, so fingers crossed that happens as well, and this will be an absolute win update. I might even have to do a 24-hour stream, boys. Let me know in the comments if you want that, and at the end of this video, I'm going to show the three mobile gift card winners. But first, check out this gameplay and get hyped, boys. Season 3 is almost here, baby. Let's go! <laughs> There's one, there's one right here. Virgin vibes. Y'all are really far, bro. I'm trying to see I'm seeing exactly what I'm gonna have in my location. Bro, bro, he tried going into the door and that didn't open. <laughs> All of them have fucking actually left. One literally, Octane's literally one, boys. One's got blue armor. Chase him down, boys. Bro, oh, that was a dirty kill I just had on that last dude. Let's go, boy! That was a really quick fucking prank game. Fucking hell, what's oh, the shit. Fuck? Nine minutes that game took. Less than ten minutes, what the fuck? Okay, boys, so all you had to do was hit a like, subscribe, and comment down below on my last video to have a chance of winning one of the gift cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly scroll down to some people. I'm going to go up, and I'm going to go down, and I'm just going to land on one person, and that one person will win a $10 gift card, and that's going to happen to three people. So let's go. The first one is, boom, just a neat. Love World's Edge is my favorite. There you go, buddy. Congrats, you are the winner. The next one is going to be a Denny Gamer. Hey, for your question, I haven't really played World's Edge, but I'm so tired of the old map, and I would love to see so changes to the game. Thanks. Denny Gamer, congrats. You're another winner. And the last winner is someone called Christian right here. Love your vids, man. Just started playing Apex, and it's quite good. The map King's Canyon is that bad, but it looks like King's Edge looks a lot better. King's Edge, that's interesting. Uh, there we go. You are the last winner. So thank you so much, guys. The support has been incredible. It's like 4 a.m. for me right now i'm recording this video just for you guys to get some info out so thank you so much for all the support good luck in the next giveaway if you want some more make sure you hit a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video peace